2011, um, mid last year, uh, we launched, Panasonic launched um, a new offering in terms of LCD technology. Um, very well known for our plasma technology for video picture, but for digital signage um, applications, then realistically LCD, LED uh, applications are appropriate right, in terms of the technology for the brightness level. Um, what we've done is we've got a full range of those, but in particular here is this screen, it's actually applicable for outdoor use. Now amongst the market, there's several, several screens out there that would be able to be used outdoors, but they have various things such as an IP rating. So from an IP rating, that's an IPC66 screen, which will allow that fundamentally complete outdoor use down to temperatures of minus 20 up to temperatures of plus 50. So environmentally in terms of conditions, it can handle an awful lot. Add on to the fact that also the durability, it's a tempered glass, so in that sense from a vandalism point of view, um, that realistically is a very, very strong screen. So with that in mind, um, and taking the sort of R&D of, of Sanyo and Panasonic, um, we believe we've got the, the best available 42 and 47 inch LCD outdoor weatherproof screen on the market. Um, it's very well recognised in the industry that you might have a 42 inch screen that is IP rated, but the IP rating is not quite to the highest quality, but the video quality is very good. And then on vice versa, you might have the video quality very good, but not the IP rating. This matches in, in both categories um, across both borders. So in that sense, high brightness, up to 1500 candela, um, has a, an inbuilt sensor with regards to the light in terms of the fact of during the day use, so the brightness can come down to, obviously for, for eco reasons as well. So combined with that, all in solution. Add on to the fact that that's obviously a standard display, there is also a touch screen version of that for use in golf courses, kiosks and such. So very much a high level product and uh, one for the future. Yeah, in terms of the fact of um, outdoor restaurants, manufacturing, uh, transportation networks in terms of, of railway stations and such like that in areas where realistically the environmental conditions across the course of a calendar year would be very harsh so with that in mind you need to apply a piece of, of screen technology that can handle all of those and remain in place for, for, for very many years and um, the way it's built allows you for that in terms of the cooling mechanisms the way that the cables are are coordinated and inserted to the screen so in that sense yes across all platforms and as highly environmentally challenging as you can possibly find.